Christopher Matthew Kersey was born February the 19th, 1973. He resided in Egan, Minnesota. At the time of his disappearance in 1990, Christopher was 17 years old and attending high school in Egan. He was known for being an excellent student, having been invited to join the National Honor Society. He was also a National Scholar semi-finalist. Chris loved camping, reading and computers. On April the 20th, 1990, Kersey reportedly stayed home from school. He told his parents he had a severe headache and was too sick to attend. His mother gave him some over-the-counter pain medication before leaving him alone at home. His father was out of town on a business trip at the time. When his parents returned home, Chris was gone. As was the family vehicle, a blue 1988 Dodge Caravan, and the family dog was found running around loose in their yard. His parents then found a note from Chris, stating that he was feeling better and would be back by 6pm unless he got lost, which was unusual as the word lost was underlined twice on the note. Christopher's mother believes his statement about getting lost was just a reference to the fact that he occasionally got lost while he was driving. On the day of his disappearance, Chris had withdrawn $200 from his savings account. The family then received a letter from Duluth, Minnesota on April the 21st, 1990, saying that Kersey had lied about being sick in order to gain usage of the van and go to not even I know where. The note further stated that he intended to end his life and apologised for this to his loved ones. His father's shotgun, a Mossberg 20 gauge with a three shell clip, was also discovered missing from the house, though no ammunition was taken. Authorities have speculated that he may have discarded the gun, but they are not certain of that. Two days after he vanished, the family's Dodge Caravan was located. It had been abandoned on the roadside in Itasca County in northern Minnesota, near the George Washington State Forest and the Chippewa National Forest. An extensive search of the area found no signs of Christopher, but authorities did find the keys inside, as well as a note explaining who owned the van. It's unknown why Christopher abandoned the van in that area, though his grandparents did live in the Grand Rapids area. After his disappearance, posters were distributed and extensive searches were made in an attempt to find Kersey. Shortly after his disappearance, Christopher's parents received a tip from someone claiming to have picked up a hitchhiker resembling Christopher who has to be taken to Duluth, the place where the suicide note was mailed from. This story has not been verified. 14 years later, in 2004, the Egan Police Department received an anonymous letter. It suggested that they discontinue searching for Christopher and that he would eventually return home when he was ready. However, the police were unable to authenticate the letter as coming from the missing man. Around the same time, the family started receiving strange calls where the caller would not speak and there would be background noise like a party. Christopher's mother believes the strange calls were from him. They continued for six months before stopping abruptly. There was renewed interest in the case in late 2016 after Jacob Wetterling's case was resolved, New Age progressed photos of Kersey were created and missing persons posters were distributed with those photos. The family also gave media interviews regarding the case. Christopher's case remains unsolved and many agencies classify it as a runaway. His parents still live in the house where they lived in 1990 and have kept the same phone number just in case he remembers it and decides to call home. 
Police believe it's likely he took his own life and that his body has not yet been found.